So, if you work like an animal, eventually you're gonna break a hammer. Even though they are uh, very good quality, the Stellar titanium ones and handles still do break. So it's a time for a bit of a mods. Now I bought this handle and it's a little bit less of a diameter. And I'll show you and I'll show you why did I do that. Now first of all, I want to get that sanded and shaped to the finish let's pin the hammer my style so what are we doing here we are reinforcing the handle and um, that's why I left it here I got the smaller handle so I don't have to sand it much so there's a gap and I'll be filling in with the carbon I got my resin mixed and um, that looks all nice and tight So I got the unidirectional carbon that I will be laying out this way, then a strip around and another strip in there. So let's work and roll. Every time I unwrap this shit, I feel like a birthday kid. The resin soaked through everywhere, which is awesome. Because uh, the last layer, it was kind of semi-dry. Because I left the last layer for sanding off. So that means there's not that much sanding to do here. Let's start to fill it in, get the wedge in, and leave it to dry. Now, while I'm mixing it, here's a little, here's a little lesson about the thinning. Um, so I want to impregnate this one with the uh, with the resin. Just start from uh, start from chipping, and a bit of a weatherproof. Also, there's a tiny little air pockets in here that will cover it. This is what it looks like after sanding. So about the resin, uh, it is not recommended to use a thinner like acetone because the resin becomes more porous and it actually might be less less waterproof that's more of a boat building um, so basically it is recommended if you want to thin the resin it is recommended to heat up the wood because it expands once the resin soaks in it starts contracting and it penetrates actually more also you can also you can heat up the resin either separately resin and hardener or you can heat up the mix so what I will do, I will heat up both, uh, brush on whatever I have to do, and then keep on monitoring, and then keep on brushing again, and then when that soaks in, brushing again, and leave a few drops in the jar, in the shot, and keep on checking before it starts gelling up, then I have to wipe everything off, and we'll be good to go. Bring the hammer tomorrow to work. Give it a bit of a test. There we have it. Nice and shiny. Only until I start working the first day. Uh, the only problem that is slippy as a lubricated dildo. So grab my son's hockey tape. Let's make a better grip handle.
Yeah, that's more like it. Ready for action.